Welcome to InfoCision Stadium. He's Matt Archibald. I'm Tanner Smith. Great news, everybody. Ohio is off the losing streak after a 37-20 win over Akron. And even better news, it was Zippy Bobblehead night. <laughs> Great news. Zippy Bobbleheads all over the stadium. But even better news for the Ohio football team. They were able to sustain drives tonight. Early on, Bobcats marching down the field. But there's that turnover bug again. Tyler Tettleton pass to Dante Foster. Maybe a little underthrown. Maybe a lack of communication. But... It winds up in the Akron Zips' hands. Early drive sputters for Ohio. That early drive sputtered, but Ohio got back on track later in the second quarter, and they went into the half 13-3 to with the advantage. Big play Brazil shows up in the second quarter. 78-yard touchdown pass from Tyler Tettleton to LeVon Brazil, and Tettleton says Coach Solich dialed it up perfect. I think they, it came uh, at a good time in the game. You know, um, that neither team had that game in control and everybody was fighting for a little bit of advantage. I think that did give us a little bit of advantage uh, at that point in time. And um, but, you know, it was there was a lot of football to uh, to play. Never felt really comfortable throughout the whole thing and until well into the fourth quarter. Bobcats come out of halftime, shut down the zips on their first drive and then first play from scrimmage for them. A touchdown to Riley Dunlap from Tyler Tettleton. 36 yard pass, a one play drive. What do you need in a tight game when you come out of halftime? A stop and a score. They get both, and it's looking like it's all Ohio heading down the second half. But again, we mentioned last week that Ohio could not sustain drives, and they did it again. They started on their own three-yard line, took it 94 yards into, into the, inside the Akron five, and then they get stopped and a couple A couple bad goal. passes on third and goal. They take a sweep wide with Tettleton looking for a hole. He doesn't find it. They wind up kicking a field goal, but again, the Bobcats just – they are close. They're closer than they had been. Not a lot of three and outs tonight, but they get down there and they end up kicking a field goal. They got to start converting those long drives into touchdowns if they want to start winning later on in the season. Ohio up 23-3 to late in the third quarter, but Matt didn't seem like they could put Akron away. No, and then turnovers even compound that issue. Tettleton's pass looks forward, ends up being backward. Uh, Akron takes it all the way down inside the Ohio five-yard line. They end up punching it in on fourth and goal, and it's 23-10 Ohio at that point. Still a 13-point lead, but Akron just kept climbing back into this ball game. We mentioned Ohio not really being able to sustain drives all night, but here's an example. Five minutes into the fourth quarter, they finally punch one in. They drive 13 plays, 75 yards, about four and a half minutes melted off the clock. Poor Dante Harton, he has eight carries for 45 yards on the drive. He looked tremendous all night, had a 122 in the ball game, but he gets 45 yards on the drive, and then Tettleton comes in and punches it in from one yard out. I mean, a little bittersweet, but hey, they finally punched in a drive that took a little time off the clock. Not a big play Bobcat like we've seen. Not uh, I'm sure Dante Arden wasn't complaining too much with the Ohio, with Ohio getting the win. Again, 37 to 20, Ohio comes out on top. Noah Keller was all over the field on the defensive end, recording 10 tackles to his name. Absolute it, monster. He got 10. It looked like 100. I swear he was in on every single tackle tonight. I mean, everywhere you looked up, there's 47 popping out out of the pile. He played a little angry. He played fast. He was tremendous on the defensive side of the ball. Tyler Tettleton also looked good. 21 of 29, 328. Two touchdowns and the one interception, as we mentioned, plus a fumble, you know, I don't know, two fumbles, actually. I don't know who really put the blame on him and Harden got their, their wires crossed on one and then another, a uh, backwards pass that just scoots away. But tremendous game for Tettleton and, again, Harden, the second running back to go over 100 yards this season. Not something you see a lot of from this Bobcats team, so that's good news moving forward into the bye week. And maybe the best news of the day for the Bobcats coming once they hit the locker room. Buffalo misses an extra point to lose to Northern Illinois 31 to 30. And Bowling Green beats Temple 13 to 10. And that means one thing for the Bobcats. That means they control their own destiny in the MAC East. For Matt Archibald, I'm Tanner Smith. This is the Bobcats Sports Showcase.